Hello there, welcome to the channel. Hope you're doing well. We actually have some lighting in here now, which is it's good. Looks okay. I still got some weird shadows going on my glasses, but so far we're, we're getting there. But today we're not talking about lighting, we are talking about webcams today, and we're gonna talk about how you can use your GoPro as a webcam. Now I have received a couple questions of, you know, can I use a GoPro as a webcam on Twitch uh, for OBS, and if I can, how do I do that? Well, today, I'm gonna show you how. Now the answer to the first question is obviously yes, you can use this as a webcam on Twitch through OBS, and I am going to show you how in this video. So, without further ado, Let's dive into it. Hello there, my name is Jeremach. Welcome to all of you who are new. Welcome, uh, glad to have you here. And if you're new here and you're like, well, what is this channel all about? Well, we talk a lot about tech like the GoPro, and we also talk a lot about lighting, of cameras, streaming. We talk about all that stuff. So if you're interested in streaming, in tech, in gaming, production, and everything in between, uh, please feel free, hit that subscribe button, uh, and join the community. But with that, let's jump into how to use the GoPro as your webcam. So there are pretty much two different ways to use a GoPro as a webcam. Option one is kind of cheap and easy, but it looks eh. Option two is uh, not so cheap, but it looks a little bit better. So we're going to try the two options, and uh, I'll let you decide for yourselves which ones you like better. Now we will first start with uh, the cheap and easy option. And all this will require is your GoPro and a USB-C to USB 3.0 cable. Now, it's as simple as plugging your GoPro into your computer, essentially. That's really all it is. But here's the thing, before you plug it into your PC, you do need to download some software first. GoPro has released uh, software that is called GoPro Webcam Utility. Now, this is in beta form. Uh, at the time of recording, it is in beta for Windows, so uh, it's not fully released yet. Again, I'm gonna leave a, a beta link in the description below. Uh, it's, for some reason, really hard to find, so link is in the description down below if you're looking for the software. Now, from there, it's gonna tell you all you need to do is plug in your GoPro. All right, simple enough. Now, in order to get it to work is you actually have to go into the Webcam Utility app that you just downloaded. Now, this is one of those apps that kind of runs in the background. You're not gonna see it up front. It doesn't have any sort of interface. You're gonna go down to the bottom. You're gonna hit that little arrow and you're gonna see a little icon there and you're going to click on that icon or uh, what is it? Right click on that icon and you're gonna see a bunch of options. You'll see, be able to select your lens sizes, whether you want the narrow, I think it's the narrow, wide and linear lenses you can choose between. But there's also gonna be another option called show preview. Basically what this is gonna do is it's gonna open up a window that's gonna show what your GoPro is seeing. From there, your GoPro is gonna work exactly like a webcam would. So let's go ahead and add this as a source in OBS. Essentially, all you wanna do is you wanna go into the scene that you wanna add your GoPro to, and you wanna add what's called a video capture device, and name it whatever you wanna name it. I named it GoPro Cam. And then there should be an option to select GoPro Webcam. And sure enough, it pops up. Now let's go to the setup and uh, see how this looks. So this is what the GoPro Hero 9 looks like. This is the latest GoPro uh, that they have. This is what it looks like right now. This is, I believe, on the wide lens. And um, from what I'm looking at, it's uh, <laughs> this doesn't look great. It doesn't look like the normal footage that you would normally see from a GoPro. Uh, now, there are a variety of lenses, so you can use the wide, the linear, or the narrow. Uh, this is this is wide, as you could tell. Uh, we're going to go into the linear just so you can see it. It takes a second to boot. But yeah, here we go. Here's the linear, so it crops in a little bit. Uh, again, this doesn't look phenomenal. Um, I have lights going on in this room right now, so I don't know what is going on or why this looks so bad. Um, yeah. All right, let's go into narrow and see how that looks. So this is what uh, narrow looks like. Um, as you can tell, not not super phenomenal. I'm not impressed by this camera at all. Let me go back to wide real quick. Wide looked the best. Now again, this is a beta. They are working out some kinks to it. Um, I did link the latest download to the software down in the description below. So if you're looking for it, if you want to download it, check it out. Try it for yourself. Uh, maybe get a little bit more luck with the resolution than I did. This does not look great. Now, this doesn't look great. Let me see if I can um, add some filters on OBS. Let me see if I can adjust any of this. All right, so that's about as good as I can get this. As you can tell, the colors were way too saturated, so I lowered some of the saturation down a little bit. I did a, some mild color correction, but overall, uh, I'm not impressed by this. This does not look fantastic. 
Um, but yeah. <laughs> Now, I did read in the patch notes of the software that they do know about the quality issues. So, with USB-C and USB 3.0, I'm surprised it looks this this grainy, at least. This bad. Uh, but they are aware of those issues, so they are hopefully going to work these out in later versions of this beta software. Or once this software gets fully released. So, either I would wait till full release, or maybe try to work out some of the kinks with the beta. But, uh, yeah, this is, um... This is a rough one. Yikes. That was, um, that was rough. I mean, that was, that was very rough footage. <laughs> now, hopefully GoPro does work out the kinks with this software, uh, and hopefully it, uh, it gets up to that quality that GoPro can produce, which is a 4K image. So, um, yeah, hopefully it gets there at some point. Okay, let's talk about option two. Option two is the expensive option, but, uh, hopefully it has better quality. Now, by expensive, I mean you're going to have to invest in a little bit of equipment, thus being the GoPro Media Mod. This is about, I believe, $80, or I think it's like $50 if you have the GoPro subscription service. So, you got to get your hands on the GoPro Media Mod. Now, the reason you need the GoPro Media Mod is because you need this HDMI, this little micro HDMI port that's in the back of it, because we're going to be plugging in the Elgato Cam Link. So these two pieces of hardware together, uh, I mean, this was like 120 when it wasn't price gouged and this is like $80. So I'd say you're looking at around $200 worth of hardware just to get this to work. Just something to keep in mind. Now, the way you're gonna wanna put this into OBS is just like you did with the GoPro when you installed that software is you, it's gonna pop up as Cam Link 4K. So you're just gonna select that as your video capture device. If I said that correctly, if that made sense. So. Let's go test it and uh, see how it looks. So this looks um, this looks a little bit better. It's not bad, but it's not it's not phenomenal. It's not great. This is this is just something I I expected a little bit more from GoPro in terms of using it as a webcam. And these are the two ways you use it as a webcam: either through their software or through the media mod with uh, a capture card. That is kind of the two ways we uh, are doing this, and so far, this is what we've come up with. And um, unfortunately, uh, we haven't really gotten far here. Uh, haven't made a whole lot of progress. So yeah, I mean, these are the two ways you can do this. Um, overall though, not impressed at all by the quality. This image quality is not very great, especially from how GoPro, I mean, this can this thing can shoot in 4K. I just don't understand why it's not shooting in 4K. I mean, this is, this isn't, I don't even think this is HD at this point. Um, it's super pixely, uh, obviously super grainy. I think you're going to get more value out of an actual webcam than using a GoPro at this point. So, um, but yeah, GoPro's about to fall over. Let's go back over to the other camera here before this falls. <laughs> All right, so as you can tell, the GoPro Hero 9, um, it just doesn't look good. I don't know what it is about the GoPro that isn't looking fantastic on camera, but so far, uh, it doesn't look great. Now, with option two, you will need some sort of power block to kind of keep it powered, considering we're not using USB-C to power and send signal. So you will need to have two cables instead of one. That's the downside to option two. But overall, both options look terrible <laughs> now this is with the brand new gopro hero 9 black that came out last month i i don't know if it's just the camera's too new or if maybe i'm doing something wrong but overall the gopro it, it just doesn't look great the camera quality doesn't look all that awesome uh let me compare it to the brio real quick as well as compare it to my camera and just so you can see uh exactly the image quality we're chain we're talking about here i mean it, it's just it, it's night and day um, and especially for the money you're spending for both options, I mean, a GoPro really, in my opinion, doesn't really work all that well as a webcam. Now, it can be used as a webcam, but it doesn't look all that great. We'll see. I mean, it's just, maybe GoPro might add some firmware updates. I, I don't know. But overall, not impressed with the quality of the webcam. Would not recommend using it as a webcam. I, I think that money could be better spent in, on other webcam equipment or just straight up buying a camera. I mean, if you're gonna spend the money to buy a GoPro and then the media mod, I mean, you're gonna need the cam link anyway. I mean, you probably should just invest in a camera at that point. Now, again, if you're looking at getting a camera webcam, I would recommend the Logitech C920 or the Brio. Uh, those are two cameras I would recommend using. Those are kind of the most widely used webcams on Twitch. 
Um, or if you want to take it that step further, if you are willing to make that kind of investment, because a GoPro can get expensive, plus the cam link, plus the media mod, that gets kind of pricey. If you're up in that price range, maybe getting a Lumix G7, or maybe a Sony A5100, or a Canon M50. Those are three great cameras uh, to start out with in terms of using them as webcams, as well as content creation cameras. Uh, would highly recommend the Lumix G7, by the way. That's the camera we're using right now. But yeah, overall, not impressed by GoPro. Um, yeah, I don't know if it was something I did or if it was uh, just the image quality. But overall, not impressed. So let me know down in the comments below, those of you who do use a GoPro as a webcam, um, Am I doing something wrong here? Uh, what is your experience with the GoPro using as a webcam? Does it look good? Does it look better than what I'm doing? Or uh, are you in the, maybe the same boat where it uh, doesn't look all that great? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. But yeah, anyway, that's going to do it for me. If you liked this video, please do leave a thumbs up. That does help the video uh, get further on in the algorithm. And if you want to see more content like this, please do hit that subscribe button. would greatly appreciate it. Uh, good luck using a GoPro as your webcam. I wish you luck. <laughs> but with that, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you. And I will see you in the next video. Have a good one, everybody.